she sings absolutely everything. She never stops. That's so true, Liz. You sing a lot too. Like, I, especially. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I know how the clip ends. I think. I think we all sing. Correct. Yeah, that's that's naughty of you guys. Naughty pie! But you know what? I think it's become a really positive and iconic sound. And uh, we you did all good. sing. Very cute. Hey, I'm Liz Gillies, and I'm playing How Online Are You with Betches. Do you know who this person is? Yes, I do. Her name is Nara, and she makes everything from scratch. Yeah. And she's and she's and I know more. And she's married to a, a model named Lucky. I watched this one yesterday. Maybe I'm more online than I think. I think she's made it like a fan, like a Fanta. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Do you know who this person is? I just saw this girl yesterday on TikTok, and she is, um, shit, it's not rugby. Mm -hmm. It is? Mm -hmm. It's rugby! Yeah, yeah and she's, she makes funny videos. She's really cute. What's your favorite Olympic sport to watch? Gymnastics. I actually did gymnastics a little bit when I was younger. Not at that level. I was sort of a contortionist. Which actor in this photo announced they were turning to the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Okay, I think I'm actually very much online. RDJ, Robert Downey Jr. If you had a superpower, what would it be? I don't like flying, so I'd love to just, I guess, like teleport. Like, I'd love to be able to go like, and then be like, in the new place. What are aura points? Like, points for your vibe and having a good aura? Yeah, basically. Is it? Yeah, it's oh. a lighthearted way to measure how cool someone is or how cringe or embarrassing something Who is. Who measures it, like a witch or a warlock? Gen Alpha oh, okay. Gen Z. I'll use that if I ever see a kid. I'm going to give you the definition and you have to tell me what the word is. So first we're gonna do a gentle touch or hit to the head or nose of a person or animal to show affection or as a joke. A boop. I know that because I have dogs. Mm -hmm. I love a boop. I used to boop on Dynasty a lot. I used to boop my dad. Um, they didn't leave a lot of them in because it had nothing to do with the show, but I love a boop. A sudden feeling of dislike or disattraction to someone or something due to their actions. My initial thing was cringe, but is it the ick? It is. Oh my God, oh my God. Like, you know why I know that? Because my mom watches Love Island. I've never mom. seen the show, but she told me, she's like, Elizabeth, there's this new term, I think it's fantastic. That's where I get my uh, pop culture, yeah. Do you have anything that gives you the egg? Yep, a lot. I mean, how much time do you have? I mean, like, loud chewing, it's over, it's gone, I'm in the car. Sandals on certain men, I really don't like seeing feet unless they're ready to be seen, and many, many other things, but really the chewing is just, it's a really big deal for me, it's major. Which rapper is an Olympic correspondent and carried the Olympic torch at the opening ceremony? No. Snoop Dogg. Amazing. I missed it and I love him, so that's sad. I used to see him every time I got to any lot in LA. It was almost like serendipitous. What did Ballerina Farm want for her birthday versus what did her husband get her? This is really interesting and it makes me think we're all intertwined with our phones because this is again a lore that I'm unfamiliar with. Yet this morning, I watched this whole thing where she got either a hat or an apron or something and I read a comment saying she wanted to go on a trip to, uh, was it Greece or something? Yes. <laughs> 100%. Okay, that's really wild. I retain information quickly, so a lot of these really must be trending because they hit me this morning before I came in. I feel lucky in that way. Ryan Reynolds was recently on Hot Ones and he admitted to cheating on which New York Times game? I feel like Wordle, if you're with enough people, is the easiest to cheat on. So I'll go with Wordle. Correct. Is it Wordle? Yeah. That's pretty low. I love Ryan Reynolds, I think he's a star, but Wordle cheating is sterile. This is the last question. Okay. What is the latest bread substitute for a sandwich to go viral on TikTok? Is it big pickle, sticky rice, or just more deli meat? So you're saying like it would be a meat sandwich, meat on the inside, meat on the outside, stack of meat. I'm gonna go not with that. The big pickle's so traumatizing to me and like I just, I don't like how that sounds. I'm not a pickle eater. <laughs> That'll be the excerpt from this interview. Um, and what was the other one? Sticky rice. That's cute. That's a carb at least. I'm just gonna say because I like it. Sticky rice? It's actually a big pickle. Well, that sucks. That's a, such a strong flavor to put on. I guess if someone eats pickles anyway, that's fine. How do you think you did? I think I did way better than I thought. I think I didn't realize how much has seeped into my brain. It makes me proud and it sort of makes me want to go on a sort of no phones retreat. Are you comfortable sharing what your screen time looks like? I'll look. So listen, it's not great. Screen time could be anything though, right? Yeah. yeah. Emailing, like, all like, of it. like an adult, yeah. buying beautiful ceramic pots and terracotta pots for planting and buying seeds to grow vegetables, stuff like that. In that case, five hours, 23 minutes, up 176% from last week. What happened last week? Oh, I was at the beach. We should all go to the beach.